How many people actually know anything about where they live? I, I hear people say, well, my family's been in this country for over 100 years. So a lot of people have, but the difference is that we don't forget it. It was kind of an alluvial plain that came down from the mountains and washed all the all the topsoil away. It was very rocky. So that was uh, the outskirt of Claremont. And at the, for, at the time, it was just land there from other cities that were a little further away. So it was um, a land that really was not a good place to develop a community. And the climate didn't mind us being there because, you know, we were in our own community and uh, people would go work to, for the colleges. You know, they do grounds work, they do uh, masonry work, uh, and then they go home and, and they're in their own place. My front yard was a dirt road and it was chaparral, sagebrush. There was really no mess land. There was gullies. I mean, you didn't need to go pay 10 bucks into a motocross. You had the floods that came down over the last hundreds of years, so you had these big gullies in the barrio from the, from the rainstorms and the flooding. Because I've even through the years told people, well, I grew up here in Claremont. I grew up in the, in the barrio. There's no barrio. Claremont. Yeah, there is. I said I grew up in it, so it's over on the east side. Well, that's not really that. That's just where the poor people live. We were there in that tiny little house, but like I say, we made it fun, you know. Everybody would get out of work, take your showers, and we'd put something on the stove and We'd get together and we would go to San Dimas, what is called now Raging Waters. They didn't have any of that. They just had what they used to call a beach area. And we would gather our kids and we would go down there and have the kids play in the water. And we would all put whatever we cooked that day on the, on the table, made it like a picnic, a little of yours and a little of mine, and it made it like a, like a little buffet. Mm -hmm. And we all had a wonderful time. The guys would relax, you know, with the kids in the water and have a good time. That was our swimming pools. And then we'd come home tired and go off to work the next day. There were a lot of people in the barrio that actually never left the barrio. They stayed there. My dad helped that a lot because he, his, his store, the store that he had, he, uh, he had a meat section, he had vegetables. He had uh, a feed for animals, um, even had uh, newspapers, and so it was, it was a complete market. And it was a very nice little barrio that we lived in, you know, like I say, we had the church, we had the little stores, you know, and as growing up, you know, of course, uh, uh, Marilyn Noble, you know, she started organizing these mm -hmm. parties for us and uh, like he says, uh, tutoring after school and that, you know, so. My dad would say, the enchanted burial, you know, you guys love that enchanted burial we were. I mean, it was our home.
a good childhood. It was a good place to be. Now, when I went up to Padua Hills, there were three of us, and he selected the middle one, which was me. Mrs. Garner, uh, she's the one that uh, built up the, uh, the uh, plays and whatnot at that time. It started building up more and more. So where it got to be uh, Padua Hills Theater of Claremont, that's when I started working there. Padua Hills has a phenomenal history on many levels. It's important within theater, researchers like myself that are specifically interested in it as a continuum of a long line of sustained Latino performance. Because that this particular period closes a gap for me in Latino history, performance history in the United States. The Gardeners wanted was that throughout the year that we expose and educate the public about the different uh, cultures, dances, uh, ways of living uh, of Mexico to the audience. The only thing that I actually remember about it is, uh, you know, people around us and with cameras. I was only six years old at that time. We, we didn't do any acting or, you know, we were just being kids. Here's a picture of myself in uh, Los Tres Caballeros. We did, I did a picture with, uh, with my cousin. My cousin's right here with Walt Disney, and uh, he says, you can have anything you want. I looked up, and they had a picture of a, of a Sunday, and I said, yeah, I'll take one of those. And it was huge to me at that time. It was, it was real huge, and that was this cherry up on top, and, and, and uh, but we had a great time. 